Hi, I'm Tom Lokes, Communications Director for the City of Marshfield, and thank you for joining me on this program. And today we're going to talk about Marshfield Area Empty Bowls. Yes, that's coming up here on March 14th, 2020. I have Cheryl in the studio, and we're going to learn quite a bit about what's going to happen. But again, mark that date, March 14th. Uh, again, 2020 this year is coming up pretty, pretty quickly, Cheryl. But why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself and, uh, and what you do on this committee, and then we'll get right into it. Okay, well, uh, my name is Cheryl Lewis Hartle, and I'm the director of Soup or Socks. Soup or Socks is the um, United Way partner program that benefits from Marshfield Area Empty Bowls. And the committee that puts this together is made up of people from Soup or Socks and then interested community members that have a passion for what we do. Um, we are just, we always get really excited about now because the bowls are starting to come in and the soups are starting to we know what soups are coming from what restaurants and um, so it's all starting to come together really quickly here so all right well I want to know a little bit about uh, about the event and then we'll get into a little bit of the history of the event I get to learn a little bit of before uh, we went on camera but okay. I want to share that with our viewers I think they may want to know uh, and uh, a little bit how these bowls are made. I, I, it sounds like they're made by kids, but let's make sure that we have the date and where it's at first if they're just tuned in. Okay, so it is Saturday, March 14th, and uh, we are so pleased to partner with Hotel Marshfield, and so it is at Hotel Marshfield in the Grand Ballroom and the Atrium area um, at 2700 South Central Avenue here in Marshfield. All right, and this um, uh, is, a donation kind of called a donation but you do have to pay to come in you do and it's uh, how much it is there's two ticket options there's a ten dollar ticket option which gives you um, a 12 ounce bowl of soup or three four ounce bowls of soup which we call that the flight so if you think of like a flight of other things that you may have participated in um, that's kind of what that is so that's ten dollars and then we have a $15 option, which would get you both, the 12 ounce and the three smaller bowls. It works really well for families. Sometimes kids don't want a big bowl of soup, so they get a, a little bit smaller one. It also works well to be able to try, we have seven or eight different soups out on the line at a time. So if you'd like to try different things, it's a good way to do that. All right. Well, I'm kind of curious, uh, before we even talk about history, I want to know what kind of soup there might be. Well, <laughs> so some of them are still not determined, but okay. um, so far this um, the soup team has contacted 19 different restaurants in the area that are going to donate soup. And some, uh, some are new restaurants that we haven't had before, which we're excited about that. Um, the Aster Retirement Center is providing soup for us this year. They're new. Um, and then there's some old favorites, uh, constant favorites maybe I should say, not old. Daily Grind um, provides their Duchess soup, which is very popular. And um, Melody Gardens will do chicken dumpling. So some of those, uh, I want to I give a quick shout out if I can. Um, a Slice of Heaven has been with us since the very beginning. Ruth and Gary Elderbrook and their catering service, and they retired this year. So we have had to retire the Santa Fe Chill, um, soup that they always made for us but we have lots of others coming in tomato zuppa toscana from mojos lots of different options yeah it sounds great mm -hmm. so uh we won't have her, their soup this year they at last was last year was it huh? yeah so they, yeah okay uh, but they were the very first i, I think right. they were the very first restaurant to come on board and say yes when we started Nice. Um, and so we're sad to lose them, but right. we're happy they're going to have a great retirement. Yeah, definitely. And it uh, sounds like there's going to be a lot of good soups there. How do they uh, come in? Do they come in a bag? How do, how do you, do they heat them up? How does it work? No, we have to have the, um, because of licensed kitchens and all that um, health department regulations, okay. um, we need them to come to the Hotel Marshfield cold. So. Usually the restaurants will make them, you know, right away on Friday morning, get them good and cool, and then we transport them in big buckets down to the hotel, and then the hotel chefs take it from there, getting them up to okay. the correct 
um, temperature. They have to, yeah, they have to do that. Mm -hmm. So, and that's why it's in a certified kitchen. Right. There. Okay. Right. Yeah. But that really a uh, lot of soup there, a lot of gallons of Lots soup. Lots of gallons. I think they told me the other night at the meeting they're looking at having about 900 servings oh, of wow. you know, I don't know how many gallons it is, but when you anticipate, you know, that's a 12 ounce bowl. Um, so about 900 servings when you do the math. That's quite soups. a bit. And. Uh, you need volunteers, right? Or do we you do. have volunteers? No, we do. We still need volunteers. Okay. Um, it takes, well, it takes probably 75 to 100 volunteers to pull it off. We need, you know, 15 or so in the soup area. We have a dining room that has to be um, manned, the raffle area, the bowl area. So lots of, you know, people taking the money at the beginning right. of the event. So. But a lot of that's already a pretty much set a lot of it you have people already set for a lot we of do those have areas. our core people okay. and we do have you know some people okay. in every area but we're still looking for okay. volunteers who, so who do they contact uh, if they want to get uh, help you guys they would contact they can either send a message to our Facebook page okay. um, or they could call Jill Trudeau um, and she is down at Hotel Marshfield she works down there okay. so they could so call Hotel Marshfield and ask for Jill Okay, and then they would uh, help out. And uh, I noticed you have United Way as a partner. Um, right, so Super Sox is a United Way partner program. Okay. All right, so that uh, they help fund uh, the uh, Super or Soup for Sox. <laughs> I knew I was going to say Super. <laughs> That's all right. It, it, happens, it happens. It happens all the time. Yes, they do. Okay. Um, they're, you know, they're a funding source for um, the food pantry and okay. clothes closet. Let's talk about these bowls. I'm looking through your Facebook page yeah. right now. Where, who makes all these and the soup? You get to take it with you? Is that, am I right? So the way we do it, there's, you know, empty bowls, different communities yeah. do different empty bowls and they all kind of do it differently. But the way we do it is um, people come into the event and they have the option to either get into the bowl line to go pick out their bowl, uh, their ceramic bowl. Yep. Um, those are all in the atrium area of Hotel Marshfield or they can come into the grand ballroom and get right into the soup line and get their soup first. We serve the soup in an actually in a, a compostable biodegradable bowl yeah. and our spoons are also compostable and biodegradable so we're because their Hotel Marshfield is a green Oh, green okay. restaurant and and that was important to our team when we first started that we weren't putting a lot of plastic and stuff out into the into the landfills okay um, so we have all those supplies so um, they can get their soup and then they they're taking their bowl home their ceramic bowl home clean without having put soup in it um, we also have lids for the bowls so that if someone does want to just have take their soup to go that's an option or you know somebody's child doesn't finish theirs and they don't want to throw it away they can take it home for later so that works out very well as as well all right well I'm just kind of paging through like I said um Ninth annual, is that right? This is the ninth annual. Ninth annual. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the history and then uh, we'll go back into present time a little bit. But uh, off camera, you're telling me uh, this actually started a while ago. It did. Um, I want to say it was probably 1998 or so. We, we tried to do an empty bowls. One of our um, board members traveled all over the state of Wisconsin getting ceramic bowls from different potters. And we did that one in the summer and we did salads, not soup. And it was, it was pretty successful, but it was also very time consuming to travel around to get um, those ceramic bowls. So we fast forwarded about 10 years and we tried a different route mm -hmm. where we just got soup and um, we sold them you know just had like a soup dinner basically and called that fill a bowl and um, we made about five hundred dollars at that um, so at that point we decided we needed to just sit back and take the time to plan a really good event so we started that in 2011. We pulled a team together and spent almost a year um, planning for our first one, which when, then was in February of 2012. And I was excited. I was so excited the night before because our Facebook page said 65 people were coming and that was probably 50 more than we'd had, you know, at the previous one. And um, 
we actually had about 400 people that first year and we made almost seven thousand dollars for super size wow. so it was it it we would just took off running from there that's awesome um, so what is your projection and hope this uh, ninth annual my hope this year so we're at with our eight-year total we're at around ninety nine thousand dollars that we've made total in the eight oh, years okay. um, I would love to see us be able to make 15 20 would be even better um, this year and take us well over the hundred thousand mark um, it costs about a hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year to run super socks wow. so what we've made you know doesn't cover the costs of the of the um, the agency for a year right. so it would be great if we could get it up there so we had uh, right. some nice cushion and and we would be able to help more people with more things now is this just one of the several different fundraisers for the super socks or is this like the main one of the main ones it is the only fundraiser okay. we do um, other places run um, food drives or monetary collections um, you know we you know write grants we get contributions right. but it is our main it is our only fundraiser that we do. So this is the big one, and we need people to come out. We do. Uh, again, they ca don't have to stay there. They can. Can they order ahead? Can they do any of that? Um, they cannot order their soup ahead because okay. our soup team. Uh, so we use a hot box. It's called yeah. um, from the restaurant. So all the soups are heated to the correct temperature, and then they're put in this hot box, oh. and they stay in that hot box. But the soup team brings out only like set like a seven or eight soups at a time. Oh, okay. Um, and so. The soups change as soon as they're empty or every hour, whatever comes first. Um, so ordering ahead isn't an option. Okay. Um, we do have, they could get advanced tickets so they could skip like the admission line and just come in and get into either the bowl or the soup line. And they okay. could um, contact soup or socks um, about advanced tickets if they're interested in that. Otherwise right at the door? At the door, uh, yes. Do they do they pretty much cash check? Cash or check. We don't take credit cards. No credit cards. Okay. Um, there is two options. You can come into the hotel lobby as if you were coming to the hotel. There's an admission table there, or there's another one on the other end. It's the conference center entrance of the hotel. Okay. And um, so earlier you were mentioning uh, all the different soups. Mm -hmm. Now, if you get in line. Can you pick from all the soups at once, or only certain ones, like say, come out at a time? You're saying only certain ones are. Okay. You can only pick what's on the line at that time. At that time, so there's not yeah. going to be 20 soups that you could pick from no. at noon. No, but there's plenty probably yet of, to still get because you'll run out, is what you're well, saying. Well, right? it would be nice if we would run out. We we uh, the soup team always makes sure that there's a vegetarian option on the line, um, and then there's also. Um, we usually don't run out of it. Um, Libby McNeil's makes uh, their gluten-free chicken and wild rice mm. and enough that we hope to have it on the line, on all three lines. So there's always a gluten-free option, there's always a vegetarian option, and then there's various other options. And it has to be from a like a certified restaurant. Is it that does. It has to be from a licensed from kitchen. From a licensed kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. So how do you guys go about getting uh, these businesses to, to donate their uh, soups? Is that a lot of, what kind of work is involved? Have you got them all secure? Oh, we've got most of them secure, okay. I, I think. Um, so I we mean, have, Yeah, if you want to, if you have them, and I don't want to miss wanna, one, but, you know. Yeah, I don't want to miss anybody, but I think I have them all. Okay. Um, so there's Belvedere, um, Blue Heron, China Chef, Krabby Dave's, Culver's, Daily Grind, 501 Sports Bar, Hewitt's Meats, Libby McNeil's, Lumberyard, Ma Marshfield Family Restaurant, Melody Gardens, Mojo's, Nuts Deep 2 here in town, Perkins, The Rivers, Weiler's Convenience Store, The Astor Assisted Living, and Buccaneer out in Roselleville. Well, that's a nice list. Yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah very diverse um, yeah. group, and like I said, there's several new people, um, and most have not committed to like what soup they're going to make yet. Okay. Um, but uh, well, it'll be a surprise. It will be. It see will what be. They, yeah. What they come up with, and uh, I hope the best. And uh, 
What other pieces am I missing uh, that we probably should bring up? This is only takes place for three hours on that Saturday. It does, right? and is it's it three very, hours? It is. It's eleven to two on that okay. Saturday, March fourteenth. It's uh, it's. It's mass chaos for about the first hour yeah. and a half, um, and then it becomes just slightly less chaotic after that. Um, there's a raffle going the whole time. We have tons of baskets um, oh, okay. that people, businesses, and individuals have created baskets. Um, this year we're having a 50-50 raffle. Uh, we've never done that before. And I heard talk with the raffle team that they're looking at doing a spinning wheel of gift cards. They've gotten a lot of gift cards donated, and so they're going to be doing something with our spinning wheel and the gift cards. So that's going to be a surprise as well. Yeah, it looks like there's quite a bit there, that, so they can do that right on site. Mm -hmm. Do they need to be there to uh, win that prize, or is that they leave a name, I think, on a ticket? Um, for the basket raffle, yeah. they don't need to be there. The 50-50, they do, and we're gonna we're gonna um, draw every half hour. Oh, okay. Do the 50-50 every half hour. Okay. Um, because you know the the ballroom doesn't seat. Um, you know, 900 people that we hope are coming. Wow, that's a lot of people. And so, you know, we need to we need to <coughs> kind of have people rotate in and out of the dining area anyway. So, that's why we don't have them. Um, they don't need to be present to win the raffle, but the 50/50 they would be. So we'll draw periodically for that. Okay. Well, I've been paging through a little bit. Any unique bowls that you can remember in in the past? Oh I, there, there are some pretty neat ones here. There is. I can remember the first year. I believe it was came from the Loyal School, and it was an eagle. Yeah. It looked like an eagle, and most of the team members are like, "Oh my goodness, who is going to buy?" It was huge, almost like a real eagle, and um, it was the first one that went. That eagle was that first, and there was several people that wanted it. Um, so this year, uh, we've been, you know, kind of sorting through them as they come. We have several schools that are providing bowls, along with some artists um, that are that are also making bowls. And um, it's just fun to see them come in. And, and Firehouse Ceramics, you can also go there and um, ask them if you can paint a bowl for empty bowls. And um, you paint that and leave it there, and then they'll they'll deliver it to us after it's fired and glazed. And you can still do that, yeah? Yes, you can still do that. Oh, that'd be neat. So yeah. Firehouse in the old fire station, right? right? on 4th Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just pay for the bowl. And, right, and I think, the, I believe it's $5. Well, that's a good deal. Yeah, $5, oh. and you paint it, and then it's donated to empty and bowls. And they fire it and... Mm -hmm. uh, Get it all ready to go. But you're seeing a lot of area schools uh, participate Yes, we have this. Stratford, we have Granton, I think, Granton or Greenwood, I really get them mixed up, um, Auburndale, um, you know, Marshfield schools, so we have a lot of different schools that are participating and um, we were reorganizing the bowls a little bit yesterday and it's even fun to look back at some of them that have come in in years past and you know we still have a few of left and we're like oh we remember what school made those so all right how many bowls do you think I think we we try to have about a thousand bowls. because we want to have enough of an, a nice selection of handcrafted ones along with um, pottery thrown bowls that are a little more professional right and um, but we want a mixture of those but generally there are they really mostly homemade bowls or can you go out and buy a bowl and paint it a separate you know like from a store no. generally uh, generally uh, it's there yeah, yeah because the reason for that is too because they have to have a food safe glaze on them oh okay um, you know people may not be planning to use them to eat soup out of when they get home, but we don't know that, and so we want to make sure that they are food safe right. for that, and they can be washed, you know, washed and dried, and and you know, food eaten out of them. Yeah, but they won't be served again in that they no. uh, come in uh, their own container uh, ready to go uh, when you order that, and that's why you can easily take it to go. That's right. So. And uh, and you can get as many as you want as long as you have it. Just pay, right? It, pay it is $10. Yeah, so you only get one right. ceramic bowl 
for every ticket. Even if you do the $15 ticket, you still only get one ceramic bowl. And same with one soup, one too. One soup, You're correct. You're not going to be able to keep going up no, and get more soup. No, it's not at all you can eat. No, 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 no. Um, if we do have soup left over at the end, we, you know, um, sometimes we have enough that we can donate yeah. um, to places like the Ronald McDonald House and Hope Lodge. So that's a nice, right. you know, nice avenue for that as well. Yeah, definitely. Well, best of luck. I guess I'm going to open it again one last time. Anything I've missed, uh, since this is new to me uh, in the area, i uh, love to attend, and it sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, I'll, I just I would just say that, I mean it's a great family friendly event um, we have a lot of fun there we you know it's it, it, when it's loud it's very very loud um, in there when it's full I, I'll tell anybody that is concerned about it the busiest time is between 11 and 12 but um, there's plenty of soup plenty of bowls plenty of everything if you want to come after 12 o'clock um, Super Socks appreciates everyone that comes and the money um, that's earned there goes to all kinds of um, food items and things. We also, not only do we have the food pantry and, and give out the food every day, but we also give um, milk coupons to all of our households so they can go to Weber's Farm and get fresh milk. And we give produce coupons to Festival Foods so they can go there and get fresh fruits and vegetables. And so one of our goals this year at Super Socks is to be able to increase the amount of those that we can provide so we get more fresh fruits and vegetables into people's homes. Where is Super Socks if people don't know and how do they get in touch with them if someone's new and wants needs food? So we are located, um, so our physical address is 200 South Lincoln Avenue. So we are housed in the west end of the First Presbyterian Church. Um, our phone number is 715-387-1796 if they would have any questions. The pantry is open Monday through Friday. Uh, Monday through Thursday we're open in the afternoons. We open at 1230. Thursdays we stay open until 4.30, so we're open a little bit longer. And then Friday morning we're open from 9 until 12. So they come right directly to Super Socks. That's where they do all the registration, and that's where the food pantry is. So it's a one-stop kind of shop there. Yeah, so all the food is available there. All the food is available, and, and, and then we give them the coupons. And they place. have, they have, you know, plenty of time to go and use them. They don't need to use them that day. They don't okay. expire that day that they come in. Okay. Well, the event we were talking about earlier helps support this, and, it does. and it's very important. It does. Uh, like you said, uh, over 125 thousand a year just to operate uh, soup or socks and mm -hmm. this event you're hoping to hit almost 20 if you can but 15 would be uh, I would I could live with 15 yeah. <laughs> but that that would make uh, that would help a lot and and people need it they it need, would. They need it that would. food think about it if you didn't have food it would be so tough I mean people miss a, a lunch and they're starving they'll try to miss Days. There is a, a, a concept, you know, hunger is something we all feel maybe every day, you know, I'm, I'm, but we're, we can go drive through McDonald's and grab some fries. Um, it's Hunger is different than being um, food insecure, and food insecure is not having the resources to keep food in your house on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So Super Socks help, tries to help with that food insecurity. We're, we're not a supplemental food pantry um, they can only come to us one time a month and they can only come six times in a year okay. so we are meant to just be like an additional resource right. but we are trying to be the best resource we can yeah all helps mm -hmm. you know every little yes. bit makes a big difference so. yeah well thanks so much Cheryl for bringing us by and Thank you. I'm gonna let you say one more time when this event is all right and uh, and then we'll uh, we'll sign off okay so it is Saturday March 14th from 11 until 2 at Hotel Marshfield on the south end of Marshfield. All right. Well, thanks again for coming by the studio this year and sharing all that great information, and I hope you guys have a great turnout. All right. Thank you very much. All right. I want to thank you, our viewers, uh, watching us on Marshfield Media Access Platform. You can catch it on our YouTube channel 
as well. So subscribe to that if you'd like to. Or throughout the days and weeks uh, coming up to the event, you should be able to tune in to channel 989 on your Charter Spectrum cable channel and uh, watch this program. Thanks again for watching us.